Hello, uh, everyone. Welcome to my day three of isolation. So I'm going to be going through the unit two practice day lesson over special right triangles. We're going to actually be putting them together in the sense that we're going to be looking at both 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90 triangles all in one lesson. So it's going to be like what we did last Wednesday and last Thursday combined into one day, just like it would be on the test. So I'm going to share my screen, turn my video off for now, and we'll get started. Okay, so let's first do our steps. Let's first talk about our steps. Because one thing we wanna do is make sure that we, for one, know what triangle we're talking about. But regardless of the triangle, the first thing you can do is label your legs. Then you'll need to use the correct template. So um, I'm just gonna put template here, but keep in mind, it needs to be the correct template. Then you wanna find X. And then you want to plug X back in. So those are our four steps. Okay, so for number one, first thing we want to do, label the legs, regardless of what kind of triangle it is, label your legs. Now, they tell me two sides are the same, so that means two angles have to be the same. Both of these are going to be 45 degree angles. Okay, so this is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. Remember on those, the legs, both are X. The hypotenuse is x square roots of 2. So if we look, looks like x is going to be 4. So I find the side that has the number given. The template says it's x, so that means x equals 4. Any place I see an x, I'm going to put a 4. So that means A is four and C is four square roots of two. Okay, let's look at number two. So first things first, label your legs. Then we want to figure out which template to use. Well, I see a 45 right here. That means this is going to be a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So for those, the legs are both X. And the hypotenuse is X square roots of two. Okay, so what we want to do is figure out what's our X. Well, look at the side they give you. They give us this 14 square roots of 2. 
Those practically cancel. Gives you X equals 14. What's that? X is 14. Hey, there's our X. So everywhere we see an X, we plug in 14. So that means A has to be 14. B has to be 14. Okay, number three. First step, label your legs. Then you've got to figure out what kind of triangle you're dealing with. They give us a 60 degree triangle right here, or a 60 degree angle. So that's probably going to be a 30, 60, 90. So now we know what template to label. The short leg on the 30, 60, 90 is your X. The long leg is X square roots of three. And the hypotenuse, the longest side is two X. So now let's find our X. Well, I'm gonna put an equal here and make a little equation out of this. So divide by the square root of three. That goes away, that goes away. We're left with X equals 15. So everywhere I see an X, I'm gonna plug in a 15. So two times 15 up here, two times 15 is 30. So I know all my sides now, let's see what it's asking. It says A, well, A we said was 15. B, B we just said was 30. Okay, number four. Four is like number one in the sense that they don't give you angles, but they do tell you that two sides are the same. So that means this is, well, first let me back up. Label your legs. Two sides are the same. That means this has to be a 45. 4590. Well, how'd you know that? If two sides are the same, two angles have to be the same. Which one do we know of that has two angles the same? A 45, 45, 90. So now label your template. Each leg is X. Your hypotenuse is X square roots of two. Make that into a little equation. X square roots of two equals 24. Divide by the square root of two on both sides. That cancels. We're gonna have X equals 24 over the square root of two. But is it proper to leave it like that? No, so we need to multiply by the square root of two on both top and bottom. Smash them together on top, remove the radical on the bottom. Can I reduce 24 over two? Yes, that gets me 12 and then the square root of two. So X is 12 square roots of two. 
So this x is going to be 12 square root of 2. This x is going to be 12 square root of 2. So let's see what it's asking. It says find a. Well, we just wrote a is 12 square roots of 2. Then that should be a b, not a c. That should say b right there. Okay, so what is B? B is also 12 square roots of two. Okay. So let's look at number five. Five ask us for A and C. So first things first, label your legs. Okay, so then I want to figure out what kind of triangle I have. I see this 60 degree angle, so that means this is going to be a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So my short leg needs to be X. My long leg is X square root of three. That means my hypotenuse, the longest side is going to be two X. So now I have like a little miniature equation here. These two are equal to each other. X square root of three is equal to six. Divide it by the square root of three. We're gonna get X equals six over the square root of three. Of course, we can't leave it like that. We have to multiply on top and bottom by the square root of three. We give us six square roots of three over three. Can I divide six by three? Yes. It's gonna give us two square roots of three. There's your X. So X is two square roots of three. And come up here for the two X, that's gonna be two times two square roots of three. Two times two is four, and we've got the square root of three. So let's see what it's asking. It asks for A. Well, A is two square roots of three. And it asks for C. C, we just found was four square roots of three. Okay, number six. First things first, label your legs. Okay, so there we need to figure out what kind of triangle it is. Well, I see a 30 here. So chances are it's going to be a 30, 60, 90. So your short leg will be X. Long leg is X square roots of three. And the hypotenuse is 2X. So now we've got to get X. Well, here's a little equation. 2x equals 18. Divide by 2, and we get x equals 9. So x is 9. Everywhere you see an x, plug in a 9. Okay. 
Okay, so that means A is nine and B is nine square roots of three. Okay, number seven. They ask us to find the missing side lengths. So both missing sides of this triangle. Steps stay the same, even though they don't have it listed like A and C or A and B, the steps still stay the same. Label your legs. Then you've got to figure out what kind of triangle is it? Well, I see a 45 degree angle. That means this one's going to have to be 45 also. So this is a 45, 45, 90. That means each leg is X. And the hypotenuse is X square roots of two. So let's see, this X equals 31. So everywhere I see an X, I'm going to plug in a 31. There's that side. This one's going to be 31 square roots of 2. There's that side. Okay. And then number 8, the last one. First step, as always, label your legs. Okay, it gives me a 30 degree angle. So that tells me this is going to be a 30, 60, 90. Our short side is going to be X. The long leg is X square roots of three. And then the hypotenuse is two X. Well, there's a little equation. 22 is equal to 2x, or you could say 2x equals 22. Divide by 2, and you get x equals 11. So everywhere we see an x, we have to put an 11. Okay, so that's that's the lesson. It's again, it's a practice day using your special right triangles. So remember to look at the angles given, and that'll dictate what kind of template you need to use. So label your legs, get the template. Find X and then plug X in. Just like we've done before. So remember, you are awesome and you were created to do great things. Always believe.